Do you have an old Minecraft world that you want to go look through and experience the nostalgia, but when you get there, you're greeted by something like this? If you want to update it, but still keep that old build that you did, and you just want to quickly update it, this is the video for you, because we're going to learn how to do that with depth, shape, and terrain today. So I hope you guys are ready. Let's hop into it. All right, so we're going to go in order. It's going to be depth, then shape, then terraform. Starting out with the depth here, and framing the house just a little bit out. It's just going to add that little bit to it, going to give it a little bit of depth. Make it feel bigger, make it look more impressive, and it's just gonna help it a lot. So we do that, we change out the corners for oak because it looks stupid to have the logs there. Raise the roof out a little bit, have it overhang on the sides. It's gonna add a whole lot to the build. It's gonna make it look better while keeping the original shape of the house still. Now the thing is also that you also have to add it on the side. So when we go to the side, we'll figure that out, but windows, bus paints, they just help. And also, please don't put your door on the outside. But as I was saying, overhang. It just adds to it. It might seem like it's a little far out, but don't worry, we're gonna be talking about trim in a little bit and it'll make sense. It does look a little big right now. And a little bit of framing like that it does help break it up a little bit because it is pretty far out. So it kind of looks a little odd, but that does help change things quite a lot and just makes it look much, much better. Now, the thing is, is that with the trim, stone bricks have always worked great with most of the wood types. It, frames it, it adds a little bit of lining, it even makes sense a little bit because the wood would be have to be anchored down to something and stone bricks would work great for that kind of thing. So now we move up to the front, changing up the depth shape a little bit, moving into the shape now, shifting the door open just adds a little bit, now to really get into shape, adding something to the side of the building. It's not big, you can see it's about a 3 by one so on the interior it wouldn't change nearly anything at all. You can even have it still walled off on the inside if you wanted to, but it adds something to the outside. Make it nice. Over here I was thinking on the back, but I decided let's just go up to the side, add a little window on the top. There's a fancy word for these, I don't remember it, but it just helps a little bit. Let's take a quick look, it's already added a lot, it already looks nice, but we need to add some height shape as well. So by adding in a chimney, we add a little point of interest, we'd be able to grow the build and just make it a little bit nicer. Don't forget to add in smoke. And my my reference, my advice, build out the full smoke billow, break out the cobwebs until it looks right. I decided back here maybe there'd be a garden or something like that. I didn't fill it in, I didn't quite know. It should be like a little farming area, flower area, what exactly, but something like that adds a little bit of a backyard. Sorry for the random jump there to daytime, but um Work on the front path now, work on terraforming, make it feel like it sits in the world as opposed to being plopped into the world. So that, a little bit of pathing. I used cobblestone for the most part, it was singles and the fence always had two. Just makes it look a little nicer. This is recording 1.12, so we couldn't do anything too fancy with the pond, but it does help custom trees always go a long way. Give it a shot. Fence post and oak leaves, seriously, that's all it takes. Make it a little random, it'll look great. Let's do one last look over on how this looks. And I'm gonna be honest, guys, I think it's improved greatly over the first one, but it still feels like the first one a little bit. Alrighty, so there we go. This isn't something to be able to turn that old house into something amazing and new, but just to update it a little bit, that way it still, still feels like it'd probably be from that time era when you first built it or something like that, but, I mean, it's a lot nicer to look at. Hope you guys enjoyed, hope you're able to learn something, and hope you were able to find this helpful. Let me know down in the comments below. Like ratings are appreciated, and I'll catch you guys back here sometime soon with the next one. Bye.